what's up diamond tribe i am on here because you know what's trending the trending topic of today is the movie on netflix called deliverance now listen the uh, if your deliverance isn't coupled with discipline then leave it alone because you're just playing with yourself and you're playing with god because it says that when the enemy goes out of a man it goes and wanders and it comes back and it sees that it's swept clean and that it brings seven spirits more stronger than it to re-enter the vessel so basically if you don't have no discipline you don't have any discipleship that happened while those spirits was gone you are going to fall back into trap because the enemy comes in like a flood and he and he is relentless in trying to enter back into the vessel from which it was removed from you don't have to watch deliverance on netflix by a producer who's not even a believer always look at the root of everything that you ingest i promise you and you will not watch a bunch of stuff because your foundation your root is really what is the fruit of it no matter what type of movie it is I don't want to watch no deliverance movie from somebody who don't believe in God. You are living a life of a child of Satan. What could you possibly, what could you possibly tell me? I remember not too long ago, there was a movie that went forth with a bunch of men that were in the church. They were part of the church and it was come out in the name of Jesus. I remember going to see that movie and when I left I did a video and I said I'm going to be praying for these men because they are going to be attacked. They are going to be attacked by witches, by warlocks and all of that. And it was not even two days later that they begin to fight amongst one another. The people that were in the movie begin to fight amongst one another. Why is this significant? It's significant because sometimes, even when you have the firm foundation, Satan still is crappy. He's been here longer than you. He know the word more than you do. Because he is what I would consider, what I would say, I would say like the DA. He, he, gonna, he gonna use the word against you. The word that you say you know, but you don't know. In the course of heaven, it says that he accuses us, the brethren, day and night. He be in the courts of heaven accusing people that say that they are believer, believers day and night. And he tries to keep the legal rights that he has over you and your bloodline day and night. While y'all over here playing and watching movies and opening additional portals and things. I mean, keep most people saying portals, but your vessel, your vessel, you keep on opening up your vessel to things. Because it got a, a what a spiritual a, a spiritual name connotation to it. Again, if your deliverance is not coupled with discipline, hang it up. Hang it up. Delete it alone. I was sitting there just now watching a little video and the girl, the lady not disciplined. She's overweight. And I, I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that, but there's so many Christians in the church. Y'all ain't got no discipline. We didn't have no discipline. I was one of them too. I traded one sin, one addiction, and replaced it with another because I did not get true deliverance through the Lord Jesus Christ and then coupled that with the discipline of the Word of God, the continuous discipline, the continuous getting cut and molded and broke down and shaken up and like realizing how terrible you are. Once you start focusing on you and your relationship with Jesus, you cannot look at to the right or to the left at anybody else. Now, you can be grieved when you see people in a state that you once were in, and you can intercede for those individuals if prompted by the Lord, if given that assignment by the Holy Spirit. But everybody is out of order. Everybody's out of order. I was looking at, I just can't even listen to you. I can't listen to you. Not to be self-righteous, but I cannot listen to you because you're not about that life. You're not about that life. You have an addiction. 
You have an addiction, ma'am. And so I can't hear you. Because I know that addiction because I had it too. I traded what I was doing in the world so that I could be comforted about eating. And that's a lot of people in the church. And they're not even delivered because you have no discipline. The best singers sometimes are the biggest persons in the church. I'm not, I know, I know y'all gonna be mad that I said it, but I said it. Get up off of Netflix. They don't have your best interest at heart. I'm sorry. Because she said she watched it. Because she was curious. Do you know what curiosity does? It kills the cat. Be more curious about your word and why you can't discipline yourself to not be addicted to something else. What were you addicted to before and why are you consoling yourself with food? What is the root problem that you got? The problem is people don't like to do the work and find out the root of the problem. They don't want to do that. Want to hop on a movie and talk about the movie is accurate. The what the movie showed is the hypocrisy, and the mockery, and and the 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 just not knowing the ignorance of the word of God. That's what it showed. It showed how ignorant sometimes we can be to certain things. I didn't watch the movie. I'm not going to watch it. Why would I watch it? He don't believe in the Lord. He doesn't acknowledge the Lord. Everything he does opposes the word of God. He's actually one of Satan's kids. Why would I watch anything that come from them? The Bible tells me all about Satan's kids. Again, if you haven't read Proverbs and Psalms, you probably need to just read both of those. Start there, you guys. Start there. Because if you read Proverbs and Psalms, it's going to hurt your own feelings. Because you, and don't read the Bible looking at it to see about other people look at it to see about you where do you fit in in that and so this is me jamie your christian favorite christian life and coach you know what i'm saying signing off but when you're ready for real this dis- like discipleship discipline hit me up when you really want to have a life coach that's going to you about to put this work in with the lord because faith without works is dead hit me up But if you're sitting here wanting somebody that's going to pacify you and say, oh, here, here, you're doing a great job, and that keeps you in the matrix, you got to find somebody else because I am not that. And I don't even, I was going to hop up on that thing, but um, there was another lady from, I think, Becoming Her Meg was on there, and she was was going in. I was like, I ain't got something to say. Sound like sis going to do what she do. But... I didn't want to hop in, but I felt like I was going to say something like this, and it was going to offend the um, the actual person's panel that was on there. And it's probably going to offend people that are not on there. But, like, let's let's talk about the sins that are not talked about, like, uh, in the church. Obesity, gossiping, lying, slandering, mimicking, identity stealing, oppressing. Let's talk about those things that happen in the church. When you see somebody got a gift, that's better than yours and you want to be that person because you don't have your identity shaped and rooted in Christ let's talk about those things those things where you spread somebody's rumor, somebody confides in you and then you begin to spread rumors about the people that are asking for prayers the things that cause people to say that they have church hurt because you come to the house of prayer you come to the house of prayer thinking it's really a hospital when really the hospital should be in your home, the hospital should be in your car, the hospital should be everywhere every day with the word of God. And when you come to the house of prayer, you come to the house of prayer for business, for the business of the Lord, for the will of the Lord to be carried out into the earth so that we could be in prayer and in fasting for the people outside of there instead of always about us and what's going on in our lives and our weak minded natures because we can't handle nothing because it's our year and we supposed to be okay <laughs>